Hello, I'm Jack Nichols, and welcome to highlights of the 2010 AutoGP Formula Sim Racing World Championship. Round two of the championship took place on the streets of Melbourne around Albert Park Lake. The first of four street circuits this season, this is a bumpy track composed of tight chicanes and long straights. While Bono Huis managed to take his third pole position in a row, it was only by the minuscule gap of two thousandths of a second, meaning that Domogoy Malasic would have to settle for second place. Bruno Marques had a good result in qualifying in third, and Canapino achieved a second row start for the faster than speed racing team. With Hanel and Greco rounding up the third row, the top five drivers were separated by less than one tenth of a second. To the race start, and it was Canapino who made the best start off the line, getting the jump on Marques. There was plenty of contact between the front runners through the first chicane, but somehow everyone managed to maintain control and stay on track. With three lanes of traffic heading into the third corner squeeze, there was more tyre rubbing to come, this time with both Pumalainen and Saxon breaking too late and losing their front wings. As Huis ran away with the lead, a spectacular four-way fight for second position was taking place. Heading into the high-speed chicane, Malajic passed Canapino, while Hanel and Marquez were side by side. With a clean run onto the back straight, Greco saw the opportunity to pass both Marquez and Hanel on the outside, but the three-way squeeze was too much, and Greco ended up in the sand. At the start of lap two, Hanel got around Canapino for third, and soon Marquez was eyeing up Canapino too. Marquez couldn't make his first passing attempt stick, but he managed to keep in Canapino's slipstream and beat him to the following corner. Further back in the field, Sergio Casalins had caught up to Mikonen in sixth place. Mikonen tried to squeeze Casalins out and effectively ran the Spaniard off the track into the braking zone. Casalins was left hopelessly stranded in the gravel. Meanwhile, Hanel made a bad mistake, jumping onto the accelerator a little too quickly out of the last corner, losing traction and being extremely lucky to avoid the barrier. Bruno Marquez jumped on this opportunity and won the chase down the main straight, moving up into third position. With both twister cars now in clear air, the pair began to chase down Huis for first position. It was clear that both Malajic and Marquez had a better pace, and soon Huis had Malajic all over the back of his car. With an easy run down the main straight, Malajic sailed past Huis into turn one. Desperate to take back the place, Huis attempted the impossible, trying to pass around the outside of turn three. It was too much to ask of his car, and Huis barely managed to maintain his composure in front of Marquez, having to take the defensive line on the next two corners. However, with the aid of a slipstream and a lower downforce setting, Marquez easily passed Huis down the back of the circuit, giving Twister the top two positions. Nearly all of the drivers had opted for a one-stop strategy, and while the pit stops were uneventful for the front runners, Blair Disley managed to leapfrog both Canapino and Greco to move quietly up into fifth place. The Australian had had a bad start to the race, dropping seven positions in the opening two laps, but he put in some very consistent lap times to get himself back up into a strong position. On lap 42, disaster struck Huis with an electrical problem forcing the winner of round one to end his race prematurely. The Twister racing cars now had a 16 second gap back to third place and the finish line in their sights. The woes continued for precision when third place Hanel's brake pedal stopped functioning correctly and he ran off and beached his car in the gravel. While he managed to get back on track again, he would have to manage with only 50% of his braking power for the remainder of the race. With a dominating performance, Domagoj Malajic took the win in Australia, finishing on the podium for the second time in as many rounds. Bruno Marquez proved he still has what it takes, finishing in second. And a brilliant drive from Blair Disley saw him make the podium at his home Grand Prix for the first time in his career. Jako Mikkonen finished in fourth, and David Greco crossed the line in fifth just ahead of Canapino. Looking at the overall driver's standings then, and Malajic's victory has given him the lead with 43 points. His teammate Marquez is not far behind with 30. Huis has dropped down to third after failing to back up his win at Bahrain and scoring no points in this round. To the Constructors' Championship, and Twister have now moved well into the lead with an impressive 73 points haul, nearly double that of second place Precision Motorsports. Leon Cavallo, Precision's sister team, are positioned in third with 23 points. The next race will be the Malaysian Grand Prix. You can tune in at 5.25pm GMT on the 4th of April for the Multi-VC broadcast.
To watch the action live, go to www.formula-simracing.net and follow the links to the live broadcast. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation. I'm Jack Nichols, and I'll see you at Sepang for the next round.